up? This is your boy Voice Frequent today, and this is my updated 2013 gaming setup. Um, I uh, got the desk and everything. I finally got everything all set up, so I'm a happy camper now. Um, so <laughs> I love this desk. I got it at IKEA the other day, and it has really good cable cable management. Whoa, lens is dirty, but see. All the wires are hidden in this little box. And you see? See how? See my cable management? It's beautiful. But, um, so yeah. I'll take it, I'll take you guys through every single thing right after this. Okay, so from going left to right, or right to left rather, um, I have my G400S, I believe, or, yeah, G400S gaming mouse. I really, it's really nice. Love it. Palms my grip really well. Got the Vespula gaming uh, pad, gaming mouse pad. These, it, this is the charger for my Turtle Beach. So it's over there on my gaming, gaming computer monitor. And I got the little quick charge for my, or not quick charge, but the if my batteries die because I use AA. Um, if they die, I could just quickly charge it in, charge it into this. This is hooked up to my Xbox, which is right there, with the keyboard that I use to type. This saves me time, and this does actually work if I plug it in. Yep. Which is really cool to have, and I could just. Stick it back in the cord hole thing, which is really cool. And over here got my Westington or Westinghouse, I forget what it's called, um, LED 1080p monitor, not monitor, TV. It's a 32 inch, it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't have to buy it because when we moved it was an extra TV laying around so I took it. I'm in a party right now. <laughs> And this is my uh, Black Widow 2013, I believe, um, tournament edition. This is not the ultimate. Ultimate's a little bit too much for me. And my. All right, there we go. It's um. It's really cool. Cool. So yeah. Well, these are my two Xbox controllers. This is a Tac Nuke one. I forget when I got this. I got this way back when. And then this one is just the chrome this controller, yeah. And um, over here, I have my Asus 248 HP monitor with a razor sticker in the back. It's a really nice monitor. It's an LED LCD, which I thought it would be, it wouldn't be this type of screen where you push it and you can see the little wavy things. I thought it'd be a full-on glass monitor, which is a bummer because that's what I wanted. FedEx truck. So yeah, it's a really nice monitor. I have my MW3 Bravos right here. Really nice. I'm gonna get a stand for it soon. Hopefully, it's been it's it gives me a lot of issues though. Like right now, it won't work. Um, when I go to turn it on, it won't fully turn on. It's supposed to beep twice, only beeps once. I have my Galaxy S4 that I dearly love. It's pretty awesome. I've had it for about three weeks, almost a month. And since my monitor doesn't have any speakers, I have to use these X minis, X minis, which are pretty, pretty nice. And so for my computer, I have Revolt, customized Revolt R770. I don't know why there's a soccer ball there. But it's a pretty good computer. Um, uh, I thought it'd be really cool to get one of these because it's not something a lot of people have. But it's really loud and it's kind of slow. The motherboard makes it really slow. So I'm kind of bummed about that. The cable management isn't really nice right here at the moment. Cause this is for my X minis, but yeah, um, I got a free gaming headset over there. It's the red one in the middle. 
They're really crappy. They're like five bucks. But anyways, so that's my revolt. Uh, if you guys want to know the specs on it, I have an unboxing video with the specs. But I'll tell you a quick overview. It has an NVIDIA GTX 670 uh, graphics card. It runs in a Core i7, Intel i7. Windows 8. Yeah, I run Windows 8 on it only because it's only because it's the new new um um uh, um uh, um uh, it's it's the new running software. So at the moment it sucks because nothing's really um what's the word for it applicable. It's not compatible. There we go. But yeah, so, but I run it anyways, get used to it. Okay, um, and over here I just got my printer, you guys don't really care about that, it has nothing to do with gaming, and then my mini fridge. It has just water in it at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice desk, it's a black brown. The cable management on this thing is amazing. Like, if you look in the back, there's little to no wires. Those wires are just running from the TV down because all the wires are hidden in this little box thing it, from here to here and underneath see how it comes down and in a little bit yeah that's where, where all the wires are if you can look they're in they're in this section right here so I love it um, gives me little to no wire to look at two wires monitor's supposed to be in front of that, but if I put it in front, it'd be too close to me. So, I had no choice but to run it like this. And it's really cool because... Because, um, underneath, there's a little area where the wires can peek in and out of. And that's how I run that right there. Hold on. I'll show you guys. Where is it? If you look at that, that's all the wires that are on this side. They were a little bit neater yesterday, but I had to shift some stuff around because of these wires. Um, this wire is for the Elgato, so I can hook up the Elgato from that. The Elgato's tucked in there, and it's not on for show. And then those are the charger for my X minis, because they are, yeah, I guess. And over here, if I take the keyboard out, once again, there's little to no wires. I just need to tuck this all back in the top, and it's all good. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's really loud. I forgot to mention that I also have this MacBook Air for all my quick editing. It's, I usually have it over there, but it's crowded over there right now, so I have it right here. Uh, um, I use iMovie most of the time just to put some stuff together, some clips. But for my actual editing, I would use that. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it once again. Um, hit me up. It was good. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. But anyways, that's my gaming setup for my late, I guess you could say, mid-year gaming setup. Looks sleek. My old one used to be right there. That's where I had um, that monitor in front of this because there's no, not enough room. And that shelf used to be right here. Very little walkway, but that's what you get when you live in an apartment. But yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything I could work on, let me know. Hit me up. My balls need to drop. My voice gets deeper, so you guys don't handle me then. That's something to look forward to. <laughs> but yeah. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.